Now, I had a, a little battle with one of my daughters recently, a, a sweet battle, and I wanted to bless her. And she makes more money than me. I still wanted to bless her. And, and I, you know, when I get money, I, I do it in all four of their bank accounts, you know, very even on, on things like that. And, um, and so I, I wrote her a check. Okay. And she goes, I don't want it. I said, I want you to have it. I don't need it. I know you don't need it. You know, you're making several hundred thousand dollars a year. I don't need to be giving you money. I want to make sure you got a good house in case, you know, I do retire and I need you. But no, no. I learned a long time ago from my CFP. Don't plan on that one. And he went into great detail. Do you want your children doing this? I said, no, here is $6,500 in my retirement account. Hallelujah. And I'm keeping that up, which is really great because I'm not retiring, I'm refiring. Praise God. Getting younger every day. Glory to God. More energy than ever before. And, uh, and so I'm like, she tends to lose stuff like that. And I'm like, she might lose it on purpose because she doesn't want to take from me. But I'm trying to tell her, you're not taking please, and I begged, please receive it. About three weeks later, it cleared the bank. I sent her a text and said, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to bless you. Now, that's a personal story. But see, God's trying to bless you. And when you finally let him, he'll go, thank you. I've been trying to get money to you for years. And that might be why you don't have any. Because you've been blocking him and telling him no. Somebody wants to give you $100. Well, what's this for? What do I have to do for it? Thank you. If you've been in my services, you've heard what I'm going to say next. You're going to go in front of the mirror and go, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Practice saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay? And when you understand the teaching of thank you, not refusal, then that's when God is, that's going to open up the windows of heaven that the blessings of God are going to run and overtake you because you're allowing it. You know, not saying slowing down. Okay? But see, God can find me in Michigan. He can find me in Uganda. I go down to Uganda and I get in the car, the pastor's car, and I'm like, oh God, give her a new car. I hope I can get there. <laughs> Serious. Pastor Joe would verify what I'm talking about here. And, and I'm getting in there and I can't get out because the door doesn't work. And, you, and it's hot. And during the day, it's against the law to run the air conditioner. What? Yeah. And if they catch you with the windows up and the air conditioning on, they'll find the bus or they'll find the, the car. Yeah. That would not work here in Texas. Okay. This is nice and beautiful, cool weather here, but stick around. Woo-hoo. Okay. And I'm like, I can't open the door. I have to get somebody from the outside, which is kind of nice. But on the other hand, you would like to be able to get out of the door. Can't roll the window down because it's broken. You know, and, and I'm like, oh, it was, in every, and it's, it just got grease, you know, I mean, it, it was just, and it really wasn't that old, the roads were that bad, okay, and um, I didn't say it out loud, because I didn't want to offend her, and, uh, and I said, God, give her a new car, thank you, Jesus, somebody gave her a brand new Toyota, it's either a Highlander or a Forerunner, hallelujah, Great air conditioning, electric windows, the doors open. Not by themselves, but they do open. And every time we turned around, God was blessing. And they needed, you know, one of the orphanages needed mattresses. It's an orphanage that every one of them is unbelievably handicapped. And they were left out to die. I got to meet all these little kids. They were sweet as all get out, you know. And now they all have mattresses to lay on. Isn't that sweet? We help get mattresses and, and we help buy pigs. 
and goats. They have some kind of a pig farm or something like that. So they can feed the pigs with all their leftovers and sell the pigs and fund the orphanage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, wow. you know, that's how you teach them. Not just, you know, you don't just teach them, you know, don't fish, just teach them to fish. Okay, big difference. And so it's so fun because one of the churches down there, our, our interpreter, Robert, he was great. Um, he, he sent me a message and he says, somebody just gave me 20 acres to build a church on and they're going to build me a parsonage on the property. He says, I don't even have a church. I've never pastored. <laughs> he says, I guess I am now. <laughs> and he says, a Ugandan gave it to me, not an American. All the finances got unleashed down there. Let me also give you another story that had happened a few weeks before we were there. This man died and they were gonna bury him on the property. They found an old uh, blanket to bury him in. They didn't even have enough money to buy him a coffin. And so they started digging because they don't embalm, so they have to be buried you know, definitely within 24 hours. And so they started digging. Somebody came by and says, how come you haven't buried him yet? He says, we can't. How come you can't bury him? Because when we dug up, now this is a man living in below poverty, they were digging, and as they delivered, they found a whole gold mine. Oh. Yeah. And so they, they wanted to mine all the gold before they put the body in. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully they got him a nice coffin after that, but that doesn't matter. All those years, he was a multimillionaire but didn't know it because of hidden treasures. Okay, number one. Number two, many of you are here because you have discovered the hidden treasure in you. And all this anointing, all this knowledge, all of that God's called you to do, you've just been sitting on it. Didn't even know it was there. So understand, God is bringing this calling, anointing, whatever you want to call it, bringing it to the surface so that you can be used of him in a greater way than ever before. Amen. 